everyone have a story in life. And this is about Iman. And this is Iman's story. Iman was born 1945, March 1st, in the parish of St. Anne, the capital, St. Anne's Bay, at 12 King Street, half Market Street. My parents, they were some hard working people, and at the same time, they could barely make two ends meet. My father, he was a poor black man from the parish of St. Catherine. My mother, she was a poor black woman from the parish of St. Anne. This is about Ayman, and this is Ayman's story. Ayman started to feel the music from in the late 50s into the mid 60s. And by 1969, Ayman met Bob, and Bob appointed Ayman to Studio One. My very first song for Studio One called Door Peep. So I ended up gave to Studio One two albums and a couple of singles. The first album called Burning Spear, the second album Rocking Time. And by in the early 70s, Jack met Iman on the beach called Key Lago Beach where the Marcus Gabby Youth Club is today. And Jack started to do business and I gave to Jack two albums and a dub album. The first album called Slavery Deals, the second album Man in the Hills and then Mark, Mark Gabby Goers. So we were doing business together until the business come to an end and I decided to establish myself as Burning Music Production. My first recording for my production were called Marcus Children, then album like Alien Fittis After Fittis and Far Over and it's go on and on and on. Now those recording were for Burning Music Production. I don't see no sense in someone or some people would say they love spear and they, they care for spear and they check for spear. And, and at the same time, those same set of people would be destroying spear and his business. I, I don't see no sense in that. What I see everyone really love spear that much, one would embrace the good things what Spear been doing for himself and his business. <laughs> Thank you. 